I wasn't going to make this video, but my notes got deleted and I took it as a sign that I should probably make this video. So, you know, those, those people or whatever who got involved in my uh, notes, don't do it again. Now, the machine elves, as I wrote in my notes, are probably created by archetypes or their energy, the archetype energy is infused into the creature. So the creature is just, you know, is the, is the archetype adopting a different role. And that archetype, I think it is, is Ningish Zeta. So if you come across the machine elves, probably related to that. Now, I also concluded that it's probably connected to Kalima, which is like the, the ego version of Ningish Zeta or, right? And she's a demonic goddess. And she has a good rep for kind of turning this idea of demonic entities into something positive. You can use it for good, right? Instead of calling her the demon goddess, we call her the, uh, we call her just the goddess, the mother goddess. So she represents the animal nature that's deemed neutral and not bad. I came across uh, this entity, Kali Ma, and the way I see it is she just likes watching people suffer and doesn't want to admit it. So while I was sleeping, she gave me uh, a strange loop vision. So I'm, convi I'm convinced whenever you have visions related to strange loop, like reality is going to loop and then we're all stuck in reality and we can't get out. Things have to do with trepidation and make you scared. That has to do with that particular archetype. So it's not a positive experience and I don't see it as a positive goddess. It's cruel. So that's the creator of the machine elves, this mother goddess who is not necessarily so positive. What about Ningish Zita? So the way I see it is Ningish Zita is an archetype from ancient Sumer and never went away. And that's the neutral portion of the two, let's say. And then there's a third part, which I consider the pure version. That's there's no, it's the positive animal. And so this is the way my mind constructed the narrative. So you have three portions of the same creature and one pretends to be good. One pretends to be bad or neutral. It just, there's no way to label him. And one is always good, but you never see him. Right? And this creature is the uh, foundation for the machine elves. And when I posted a picture about the machine elves, a day later I had a, vi I had a vision or a intense dream related to Kalima, or what I consider Kalima's nature. So it could be that Kalima has a positive side, you know, and that I was experiencing the negative side that likes to torment. And you know, I wasn't scared because I'm used to, I'm used to the strange loop idea, but it's not real, it's, it's an illusion. It's something your ego processes because it can't process infinity unless you shut off the mind and then you're like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm infinite instead of thinking about it. So the machine elves are, when I was approached by this creature, one of the three entities or maybe all of them at once. And, asked, and they asked me, what do you want to create? And I said, I want to create an elf uh, who's, a, who's a machine. Because I like the idea of an elf who's a machine, a machine elf. And so this archetype goes into visions of people doing psychedelics and creates that narrative, that story. And I was looking up people who had encounters, some people have positive encounters, some people have less positive or intense. Like this one girl said, this one girl said that the entity told her not to return again. You don't have to, it's not necessary. Another, a person said, um, this, the machine elf that I came across didn't like Jesus. So this was 2019 video I saw. 2000, yeah. And, and then he learned from that experience that he should believe in Jesus. Because the moment he said, demon, get away, you know, and it, it somehow left. And he was using his lens of uh, Christianity to get out of his bad trip. So he, he thought that was what the lesson was. Maybe it was. Who knows? But the machine elf itself actually comes from an, the archetype of of um, of the of the libido, the creative energy. 
So we're dealing with something that is intense. So if you do DMT, you can guarantee you're going to have intense energy coming up. Some people are living DMT, you know, throughout the day. You know, they just, they have a different reality. So you shouldn't do psychedelics if you're already experiencing alternate states of consciousness regularly. Part of the exploration of, of meeting these machine elves is to understand, I guess, who you are, understand what spirituality means or entails or could mean. And that's, that's something uh, people do, but it, you don't have to. And from my perspective, coming across the machine elves is just another creation that was created based on me, you know? So I, I can't make it about me, but every single person I'm convinced has a reality that directly correlates to what has transpired until now in their life or will transpire. So that entails that if you're experiencing something, it's because of something that will happen in the future during a vision. Um, or a mystical encounter. I don't want to curse people with this and say you have to experience that as a reality because I, I don't like that. I've come across um, visions and possessions of things of, of spirits that I'll come I came across in the future or I met in the or come across in the future, but it messed with my mind. Should I be friends with them? Should I not be friends with them? Should I rush the process of being friends with them? Should I not? Um, should I chase love? Should I not chase love? And so I, I don't want you to have that reality. See, if you do psychedelics, you might enter into that reality. The question is, do you want that? Do you want to live a nonlinear reality where you're experiencing future events before they happen and then pretend like they didn't happen? So I actually don't recommend that. But at the same time, if you want to defy the materialist lens, you'll have to you have to experience something like this. Synchronicity 856. I just noticed that now. If that's relevant to whoever's listening. So the machine elf, who created the machine elf? Uh, a spirit that spoke to me. Now all the millions of people or hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands who came across the machine elves, is it because of me in the past? Maybe, maybe not. I personally see it that it was the case, but it could have also been manipulated so because I was destined to adopt a leadership role that involved creating models of reality. So maybe in the past, they knew that, so and so they saw in the future, it's better if we make a vision in the past that makes him believe that in the future, you see? because they have really high wisdom, these entities that you come across. And so if that's the case, it shows you that all of reality is manipulated by higher and higher degrees of wisdom <laughs> that you can't even pinpoint if that's a good thing or not. You can't even pinpoint if it's helping you or making your life worse because the, the wisdom imbued in it is so high. You know? So anyways, it's just a really interesting thing of who created the machine elves. The answer is I don't know, but I know what I experienced. I created them. I gave permission for them to be created. I threw out something to uh, the archetype Kali Mao or Ninga Zita slash Ariel, and I said, this is, this is what interests me. And so that was what was created. Now, if I never said that, would that have taken place? I'm sure infinite reality entails it could have, but that's not going to probably be my reality because it's not what I experienced. But then yet again, I was forced in, into that reality because I was kind of manipulated to believe such a thing. But maybe they manipulated me because that's the only way to fulfill my destiny or to have the destiny that my soul wants. See, here, I can't predict whether it's bad or good. I'll just take it for what it is. <laughs> okay, so that's my commentary on the machine elves. I hope you found that interesting. I know I'm certainly finding this interesting.